at the end of the day, when you're looking yourself in the mirror, you can only look yourself in the mirror if you know that you've been loving and kind and done everything within your power to be a good person. About 30 years ago, I uh, was working for Salt Lake City School District in Salt Lake and I wanted to start to be a stay-at-home mom. And um, so I gave it a lot of thought and got a hold of some friends at the state level and I just asked them, I said, are there any programs here in Utah where you can take children or adults with disabilities into your home? Over the last 30 years, I've had 13 different children and adults with disabilities that have lived with me. And it's just been a very rewarding, rewarding, very rewarding. I've just really treasured that. I love you, Mommy. <laughs> Do you know how much I love you? Uh, yeah. Do I love you? Yeah. Am I cold? Yeah. <laughs> I do love you. <laughs> for 10, 10 years, I worked for the uh, Springville City with the Springville Senior Citizen Center. And uh, recently, I've come to work for Spanish Fork City at the Spanish Fork Senior Citizen Center. And I've just learned that there's just good people everywhere, loving people everywhere. So this is Dixie Webb and Kay Stallings, and they are my partners in crime, and I love and adore them. We love her back. Honestly, I think I live a wonderful life. I'm very grateful for my life. People are special. They just really are. I don't know of anyone who is not special. I know that everybody has good days and they have bad days, but you know what, if you know that you're loved and that you know that you have love and you're, you have love to share, it's pretty easy. It's not always easy to tell people that you love them, but as a group, if you approach it as, as a group or even two people, you know, so let's say friends that can just say, hey, you know what, we love you it's really going to make an impact on that third person. You may not think it, and they might not ever admit it to you, but seriously, when they're by themselves and they're just rethinking the, the situation through, they will have that, they really will have that realization of, wow, you know what, they said they loved me. I think about my children and my grandchildren, and when I die, and I know I'm going to die, you know, someday, I hope that I'm just remembered for, for loving things, that I was a person who loved other people, who was a respecter of other people. I've made a lot of mistakes in my life. I'm not stupid, I, you know, and I'm willing to admit all of that. But I hope when I die that I go back to Jesus Christ and then that I can truly say, you know what, I really gave it all. I really tried. That was my goal, was to try to love people and and be of service to others.